Hello students, hope you all are good. Myself Dr. Sarup Kumar Shivastava and today's discussion is moving ahead of factor pricing about the Ricardian theory of rent. We already discussed about the economic rent and contract rent. What is the differences between these? And how these differences reveal the importance of economic rent. <clears throat> Next we have discussed about the gross rent and the, how do we calculate all these uh, in formalatical manner. So moving ahead. The Ricardian theory of rent. Ricardo was the main proponent of the theory of rent. And uh, he uses the original and indestructible powers of nature which has been given by the nature to the humans and human use it and get profits so according to him rent is a portion of produce of the earth which is paid to the landlord for the use of original and indestructible powers of the soil we use the land and whatever we gain from the land is a profit now suppose the rent is equals to value of produce minus cost of the production. We can say it as any surplus over the cost can be called as a rent or the amount of rent. Now moving ahead, there are two types of rent which has been described by Ricardo. First one is differential rent. There are differences in the land type of land. Some land can be uh, more fertile, some land can be less fertile and their inferiority can be categorized as per their fertility. So these fertilities create the benefits for the producer. If a land is very fertile, obviously the producer will get more benefits and can generate more rent over there. So the produce from superior land minus produce from inferior land and the marginal rent marginal rent is a portion of land which generates or covers only the cost of production there is no surplus so it is a zero rent land now in the next slide we will be more clear about it so the rent and types of land there are two types of uh, cultivation one is extensive extensive cultivation means when we extend the area of cultivation we can call it extensive cultivation and the intensive cultivation means from the same land we can generate more output so differential rate in terms of extensive cultivation so suppose we are taking example of three types of land a b and c in their inferiority or superiority may be categorized as ending or descending order a is more fertile and lay c is the least fertile in all of the three so now we can see this figure this figure is a portion in which we can say this is the a a point and this is the 25th this is the output so over the cost which is the minimum cost which may be incurred for producing something so above the 15 of the output which covers only the cost any surplus above the 15th unit of output is called as rent when we move to the b portion we can say when the population will be increasing more demand is generated more demand means more production is needed so more production needed will be moving the production process from a to b we will cover more land to produce more output so obviously above 15 there is a fifth five amount of rent which may be represented by this box of rent when we re reach to a level of c where only the cost is covered so obviously the land c can be called as the marginal land so in the next part we can say it we can describe it with the help of marginal cost and average cost curve so any price above the average cost is called as the profit so in the type of lands we can see when the land is more fertile obviously the cost is lower than the price so there is some profit and that profit is called as the rent in b there is less amount of rent in c there is no amount of rent is generated from the land because it is a marginal land and it can be de described in the same format with the help of marginal cost and the demand curve of the customers so we can describe it by the help of a table differential rent in case of intensive cult cultivation we can say there are four techniques one two three and four marginal product marginal product is a product which 
can be described as an additional unit of factor is employed then what is the output generated by that one additional unit of factor so 50 40 30 and 20 are the marginal products means output of an additional unit of factor employed in the production process now the next one is vmp vmp is the price and marginal uh, marginal physical product or the marginal productivity when we multiply the marginal product to the its price it, it is called as the value of the marginal product the cost cost is same for all the land so obviously when we uh, deduct this co uh, cost from the total value of the marginal product we can say it is the rent so from land uh, from the same uh, land when we use the first type we can generate 30,000 as rent 20,000 in the second method and 10,000 in the third method with the same land in the fourth process we generate no land no rent and obviously in this process these three uh, noting point is over here law of diminishing marginal returns operates in this pro process the producer will employ up to that dose in case which the value of VMP becomes equal to the cost. Obviously, any producer will not gain the, uh, get the loss, lo losses in this in this production process. And the marginal product is decreasing. Decreasing, there are three stages as we know that first is increasing returns to scale. Then it is constant returns to scale. And then it is decreasing returns to scale. Now coming to the final figure to explain a bit it about. That is the rent average cost, obviously. The average cost of the production process is the value of the marginal product curve and this is the doses of labor and output product and output generated over here so whatever is generated above the cost is called as the rent so the figure is clear value of the marginal product is equals to MPP into price and this area above the average cost curve which is comes under the VMP curve is called as the rent hope this video is gainful if any question is there you can ask me in comment box and the contacts are also given in the description of the video you can ask anything thank you very much